Hey everyone, it's Hayes, and we have some news concerning the Miraculous Awakening film air date. But before we get into that, and before I complain about how long it's taking, <laughs> we're going to talk about this new screenshot from the uh, Miraculous Rise of the Sphinx game. I swear to God, I've already made two videos about the game today. Could they not release things all together? I'll link the most recent one above for you. But this one shows Marinette on Luca's boat, or just going onto Luca's boat, we can see Luca and Max stood on the pavement and Marinette is wandering into the boat. It's great. Um, so I guess you can go to Luca's house. And if you remember from the previous video I made, the Xbox version of the game showed on their website, showed uh, the different achievements you can get in the game and one of them is becoming really good friends with Luca. So I guess that involves going to his house or rather to his boat. And also in the background we see a poster for Gamer 3.0 and we learnt from those achievements as well. That's one of the Akuma villains in the game so that's fun and exciting. So um, now for the Awakening movie. So we have a new air date and the new air date is the 5th of July 2023. <laughs> So next year. I just, okay, so the most recent air dates prior to this are all in January, but we are getting progressively closer to January. I know we're still quite a while off, but usually when a film comes out, you usually do get the trailer at least a couple of months usually before the film comes out to help with press because there's usually so much marketing around feature films and I wouldn't expect anything less for Miraculous. But due to the sheer lack of that, getting closer and closer to January, I was like, there is no way in hell this game's coming out in January, forget it. <laughs> and I was right, but I didn't think it'd be as far away as July. And who knows, maybe that date will get pushed back even further than that. And don't get me wrong, right? I don't mind them taking their time to give us a quality product. I'd rather we get a really, really top-notch, really good quality film that has been made by people who aren't being overworked and really stressed to make it. I would rather that, obviously. However, I would just like, you know, some consistency, even if Jeremy just put up a post on Instagram to let everyone know why exactly it's taking so long, that would be great. However, in the same vein, even if the film is ready to go right now, I can understand why he's waiting for a summer release, obviously, because most of the audience are children. They're going to be off school in the summer. And not that kids can't go to the cinema in the evening or at the weekends. I think their parents are more likely to take them during the summer holidays. So I, I can understand his logic in wanting to wait into the summer. But just a bit more communication. You know, I find like people get less annoyed about whatever if someone is communicating with them about why exactly things are happening. So there you go, there's the airing dates. Um, I don't know how reliable it will be because as we know, the Awakening air date is subject to change. So I'd love to know what you think about that besties, as well as the game with Marinette on the boats in Miraculous Rise of the Sphinx. And I will see you in the next one.